I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Janet Huber reaches out for public support after developers plan to build in her neighborhood. I do a voiceover in my booth right now, and I'm trying to be calm and collected, but for the last month to two months, I've been trying to heal my foot. I've been trying to walk again, um, and I'm dealing with something right now where it's, it's really difficult. I live in a suburb in New Jersey. Hi guys. <laughs> Called Montclair, New Jersey. Everybody knows I'm here. Everybody knows I live here. They sell homes using my name. They tell people that I live here. <laughs> but here's what I'm dealing with right now. And I'm trying to keep my blood pressure from going and having. So if I have a while I'm doing this video, you, you know why. Okay. I'm doing good, Alexis. How are you? They are trying to build seven townhouses across the street from my home. Seven condos in a zone that's um, R1. I live in a black neighborhood in Montclair. And this is what's happening in black neighborhoods all over the country called gentrification. Now, I'm in a mixed marriage. I have a black son and all of that. but And I love you too. But this... This neighborhood is zoned R1, but I'm now in a fight for my home. I'm in a fight for my home to save my home against developers who want to make money because now they want to build in black neighborhoods like Harlem. Da, 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 da. It's happening all over the country. Um, yeah, they are building everywhere, but we are, we are zoned R1. So when I bought this house after losing my home, my career, my reputation and everything in my life, I found this little house right here and I love my little house right here. It's my little house and I love it. And we've done so much to it to make it cozy and comfortable and affordable. I would love to do an interview with Shannon Sharp. Was that Shay Shay? Is that Shay Shay? Yeah, we, we've tried. Oh, it's happening in Georgia too. Yeah, it is crazy because um, nobody wanted to build in this neighborhood because it was black and it took three years to get refinanced because I was black. They came into our main neighborhood and they devalued my home because I was a black. And now this big story has come out about all of this. But so on September 4th, I have a meeting. I, I'll interview with you. You ain't no, you ain't a nobody, honey. You know, and it's really funny because so many celebrities are out there living large and telling people to be positive, be positive and good things will happen for you. Yeah, bitch, you got money. <laughs> I mean, come on now. Really? So I am upset because I'm fighting for my home. I have this little ranch home and I love it. And I love my neighborhood, but my neighbors have given up and I'm the only one fighting. So I have had to hire a civil engineer, my lawyer, and it's costing me more than my taxes to fight for my home and for the right to stay here. It's a ranch. And there are very few ranches in Montclair. What's up, Kyle? What's up, sweetie? Oh, my God. Hi. From Germany. How, how are you? Cosplay. Errol Hart cosplay. He's one of my friends. But I decided I was going to try to do this audition. But my blood pressure is so freaking high that I... I've taken three blood pressure pills. I'm not going to give up and I'm not going to stop fighting for what I rightfully in the law. But these millionaire developers come in here. Oh, thank you, sweetie. They come in here and they call it. We're not a historical neighborhood, but on the other side of town are the mansions in Montclair. And so the mansions in Montclair are not getting touched. They have acres and acres of land, but they're trying to build seven townhouses on this little ass lot that will dwarf my home and all I'll see out of the windows are, are are giant monstrosities and I'm the only one fighting. You can help me. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Don't take amylodipine if you're black because if, if you're taking amylodipine if you're black, 
we don't have a good reaction and my feet and hands all swell up and I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. I'm a fighter. I fought for my reputation for 30 years and I'm going to fight to stay in my goddamn home. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried not to cuss. Okay. Magnesium. Somebody says, baby, I've taken cayenne pepper, theanine. Um, I've tried to do without salt and Tyler Perry going to come and help me. Tyler Perry's busy. That's so sweet. That, you guys are so sweet. I love you. And every time I come on here and I do a rant, but this is my life. I don't want to have to move. I don't want to have to move. And I'm going to walk the streets with one foot. I just had both tibial tendons blow out on my feet. And I've had three years of surgeries that I'm trying to recover from. So I really am tired. I'm almost 70 years old and I'm just tired. And it just off when I see celebrities who have far more reach than I do, not even speaking out about the injustices that are going on, about the elections that are going on. And, oh, how do I keep from being lightheaded from the meds? Well, I don't take amylodipine because I had a bad reaction. And I know people say, well, why is she talking to the people that are on her Instagram live? But I do because um, I love you guys and you're my, you're my heart. So yeah, I am almost 70. You, oh, you're so sweet. And I know my hair is all over the place, but you know what? I love my natural hair. Bam. <laughs> but I'm going to be at the um, meeting on September 4th with my civil engineer and my lawyer. And if they choose to make it live, well, I have to be recorded. Then I'm going to bring you on Instagram live. So come and join me on September 4th as I fight for my home, my sanity, and my peace of mind. I can now see why people um, who are celebrities live in gated communities, because people don't get you. I mean, I got we got the kids a bus after fighting for years to get the black the bus on this side of town when the other kids didn't have a bus. Um, the kids here on the black side of town didn't have a bus, but on the white side of town, they did have a bus and we got a bus. We got a bus for the kids. So I'm fighting to make sure that our neighborhood remains. It took me three years to get refied, to get the historically low rates. And if I'm who I am, imagine like 50 of my black neighbors have lost their homes to foreclosure, you guys. I moved into this neighborhood because I wanted to be in a black neighborhood. Because I knew that if I was in a black neighborhood and some shit went down like it did in Burbank, where they accused me of robbing my own house and then handcuffed me, threw me on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I've been through some stuff, y'all. And I always have this to say, and this is my last thing. If you come for me, I will open the door. But if you come to me, I will invite you in to have a seat. So don't come for me. I don't care who you are, how much money you got, whether you're a Russian millionaire and you can build in our neighborhoods and destroy our neighborhoods, but I'm going to fight for my black neighborhood. You hear me? And I'm going to fight for my black neighbors. And that's who I am. And that's who I've always been. Um, and on that note, I'm going to sign off and try to do. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. <laughs> Take care. I'm telling them, text me, don't call me. Oh, property taxes. No, the value of my house will plummet. Will plummet. We have to fight for our communities, you guys. We do. And you can't just be complacent and, and not do anything. So yeah, I'm spending about 20 grand to hire the engineer, my lawyer, to fight for my neighborhood. If it's R1 zoned, then it's going to stay R1 zoned. And if that's the law, then you have to abide by the law and do exactly what you're supposed to do. And I love you all. I got to do this audition. So I got to do a voiceover audition. I got to do this characters. So I got to get my voice together. And, and <laughs> I love you too. Have a wonderful night. Janet Hubert. I'll see you September 4th. Unless they arrest me. I am going to win. <laughs>
Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.